Hello everybody. So as promised, today face packs. Now face packs are for those, actually everybody, but more so for those with open pores who want tight skin, you know, and a nice tight, a face tightening pack is what's going to um, close those pores or help at least minimize those pores. So with open pores, your pores are open, your, your skin secretes oil, dirt and dust from the atmosphere go and settle in into the pores. And because it's an open pore, it doesn't shut again. It just stays open and all the dirt and dust and it becomes either a blackhead or a, a pimple that gets infected and becomes an acne, all that. And it's just really, really difficult to get, um, you know, rid of. But really good skin tightening packs help. In your kitchen, you've got many things that you can actually um, sun dry or shade dry, whatever is convenient to you and powder it and bottle it in airtight containers and keep it. And then whenever you want to mix a pack, you can mix it. So I have a few things here that I have uh, done just that. I mean, through these this lockdown time, I've been drinking lots of nimbu and uh, orange juice and nimbu pani and orange juice. And, and I've taken the, 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 you know, the peels, sliced it and, and it's all left outside to air dry in under shade. Okay. And not directly in the sun. But what, what is easier to dry is, uh, this is the neem leaves. I've got a huge neem tree in front. So plucked all the neem leaves and uh, shade dried it in the car shed and powdered it and that is neem and of course Tulsi everybody has Tulsi at in their homes so this is the Tulsi powder as well Tulsi and neem was very easy to dry and powder and uh, this is Amba Haldi or Kasturi Manyal um, you know this is great for the skin it's turmeric and um, so these are the three ingredients I'm going to use. But you know, you can't just mix this, that and the other and make a great pack because you need uh, uh, something that binds the pack together to tighten your skin. Either it has to be Multani Mitti, any kind of clay pack, uh, maybe Chandan. These are things that actually bind the, the pack together. So I have got uh, the the gray, uh, sorry, the green French clay, which uh, I'm really happy to use. And uh, so in a bowl, all right, one tablespoon of the tulsi, powdered tulsi, one tablespoon of uh, the powdered neem, and quarter tablespoon of the amba haldi. Please don't put too much of that because it is very strong. And the green French clay, I have used two tablespoons. Okay, so one and two. Now you need something to bind this down. Um, for, for very oily skin uh, people, this will work wonders. You just need to mix in either rose water, plain water, uh, aloe, aloe water, you know, you get the gel water which you can buy ready made, but whatever kind of water you can mix in. But if you have really dry skin, you need to mix in a little bit of honey as well. That's it. So I actually don't have any, um, rose water with me so I am just going to mix it with distilled water not distilled water <laughs> it's from my uh, from my machine that gives me clean water okay mix it in with a brush Get it into a nice. So please make your own powder, a lot of your stuff uh, on your own from your home, from your, you know, things that you eat like oranges, use the orange peel, use the, um, it takes a little bit of time to mix if you have a, a French clay or 
um, you know, any kind of a clay to bind this whole thing together. Miltani Mitti will mix really fast. So will Chandan. So it's mixing nice and proper. I think you can buy these French clay packs online. I get mine from Sandu. Here you have a beautiful pack, which is great for people with acne. If you've got very oily skin, you can leave out the honey. If your skin is very dry, use the honey. And uh, you know, you can also, instead of just using water, you can also use dahi curd in it to get this consistency and then with the brush apply it on now i'm not going to apply it because i want to show you another pack so the neem and tulsi pack is a completely 100 percent natural pack after you apply it on it goes on green because i've used the green french clay which is quite cool and let it completely dry out and then when it's fully dry and tight, then you just, you can take a, a, a little cloth, dip it in water and just first uh, wet it all over again and then gently rinse it out. Okay, that's how you're supposed to take out a pack. So now the next one, that was completely vegetarian. This one is not so non-veg, but still. Okay, so this is an egg strainer. Some of you have it, some of you don't. And this is just a bowl. So I can hook, hook this on, break an egg, pour it in here. It keeps the yellow separate and the white separate. So I actually need only the egg white. That's the egg. I'm sorry. You know, I don't have amazing cameras, but so I'm just going to break it into my egg strainer. You know, these egg strainers are just wonderful things it just takes the you've got the yellow inside and you've got the white that falls through it's very cool of course otherwise you just break it into your hand and use your fingers to sieve the white through the other yeah, white through and this makes it proper there's nothing to mix actually but still, just to break that thickness off, it's too gel-like. So after your scrub, you know, your face scrub and uh, you've rinsed it off, your face is nice and clean, then you want to use a pack. You don't want to, you have to use a pack. This is one of the packs. I'm just going to put it on my face and show you. It's egg white. I can't tell you, it doesn't even smell. I mean, a vegetarian kid would definitely hate it, but don't go right next to the eyes, but. I have actually done this before and shown it, but there are many people who have missed out on it. And this is one pack that you really should see how it's done. So I have completely coated my skin with the egg white. Now I can also just leave it like this and let it fully, and this when it dries, it dries like so fabulously, it's not even funny. But I am gonna show you a slight twist to it. So I've taken um, tissue paper and I've cut it into small little pieces like this, okay? So this, Place it on your skin. Place it all over and overlap one on top of the other.
if you think the egg white is getting dry just wet it again cover your full face with it so I got a band and this is a little time consuming but it is so effective you will love it so egg white first then cut tissue paper and keep layering it okay Fill in all the gaps. Oops, yeah. Because this is going to peel off. We are creating a peel off mask, which is very tight and very, very amazing. So if you want only little bits of it, just tear it off and put it. I've layered my nose up because that's where I need it most. And after this, I'm going to let it dry for a good um, 25 to 30 minutes because I want it absolutely dried up. So that's how you layer. You've got open pores here, use more. Open pores on your nose, use more. And after everything is done, just give a wash of the egg white. These are my makeup brushes I keep using for all these things. A great peel of mask. And look, so close to my nose, it doesn't smell at all. It's the egg yolk that stinks. So after you've done this, let it dry I'm gonna give it 30 minutes it's been half an hour and it's dried to a crisp I can feel my skin very tight underneath this and let's now very gently take it off it's a peel off mask it's really tight Oh, it's really good though. It's 
my mask. Mm. Very gently take all this off. And I'm gonna go rinse my face. I have to tell you that it feels smooth and great. And these are things that you can find at, in your own home. An egg white and my face feels cold and lovely. I need to take off all these little extras. Great experience. And this is also something that you can do for people in your own home. They can do it for you. You can all do it in a, a gathering. <laughs> a peel off face mask for the day. Fabulous. Definitely try this at home. Bye. Stay safe. Stay home. Bye.